The Open Working Group on Sustainable Development Goals convened its fifth session at the United Nations today, focusing on how inclusive growth and industrial policy can fit into a post-2015 agenda to eradicate poverty. The second goal, as we saw it, was the economic pillar, that there needs to be jobs, there needs to be continued development. We really had to grow before we could do even social spending, that if we had to have a passion for growth if we were going to feed our compassion for the poor. That poverty could only be approached uh, through, through, uh, through growth. But as many experts have argued, sometimes growth just isn't enough. Last week, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development launched its 2013 Least Developed Countries report. The report detailed major findings, but one thing stood out above all. Despite Africa's rapid economic growth, Extreme poverty and joblessness remains a chronic problem across the continent. Everything is about growth. The preoccupation of the, the, the policy so far is on growth. What we are suggesting now is employment should be seen as an integral part of development policies. This jobless growth was also a topic during this year's Africa Industrialization Day. While celebrating the value of industrialization in Africa for poverty eradication, experts discussed their concerns with growth that is not inclusive. So many young Africans are excluded from the economy. I ask myself, how can we make growth more inclusive? How can we sustain our economic path when the future of so many young men and women is potentially bleak? Despite the growth turnaround since 1995, those countries that are growing the fastest are actually showing the least responsiveness of employment to economic growth. It is a problem that has vexed development experts for years. How can states create economic growth that is inclusive and sustainable, while also broad and rapid enough to eliminate poverty by 2030? For some, it requires thinking about new kinds of growth. So certainly we need uh, economic growth, uh, but it has to be done in a different way than uh, uh, we have been seen in the past. In the end, leaders and experts acknowledged this will not be an easy task. Uh, there is no greater challenge for the world than sustainable development. The Open Working Group is never short of transformational ideas. The challenge for policymakers is to somehow make these big ideas fit into a development framework that is both concise, measurable, and easily communicable for the post-2015 era. This is Brendan Pastor at the United Nations for South-South News.